Today we're doing Lesson 42 from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 42. God is my strength. Vision is his gift. God is my strength. Vision is his gift. The idea for today combines two very powerful thoughts, both of major importance. It also sets forth a cause and effect relationship that explains why you cannot fail in your efforts to achieve the goal of this course. You will see because it is the will of God. It is his strength, not your own, that gives you power. And it is his gift, rather than your own, that offers vision to you. God is indeed your strength, and what he gives is truly given. This means that you can receive it anytime and anywhere, wherever you are, and in whatever circumstance you find yourself. Your passage through time and space is not random. You cannot but be in the right place at the right time. Such is the strength of God. Such are his gifts. We will have two, three to five minute practice periods today. One as soon as possible after you wake, and another as close as possible to the time you go to sleep. It is better, however, to wait until you can sit quietly by yourself at a time when you feel ready than it is to be concerned with the time as such. Begin these practice periods by repeating the idea for today slowly, with your eyes open, looking about you. Then close your eyes and repeat the idea again, even slower than before. After this, try to think of nothing except thoughts that occur to you in relation to the idea for the day. You might think, for example, vision must be possible, God gives truly. Or, God's gifts to me must be mine because he gave them to me. Any thought that is clearly related to the idea for today is suitable. You may in fact be astonished at the amount of course-related understanding some of your thoughts contain. Let them come without censoring unless you find your mind is merely wandering and you have let obviously irrelevant thoughts intrude. You may also reach a point where no thoughts at all seem to come to mind. If such interferences occur, open your eyes and repeat the thought once more while looking slowly about you. Close your eyes, repeat the idea once more, and then continue to look for related thoughts in your mind. Remember, however, that active searching for relevant thoughts is not appropriate for today's exercises. Try merely to step back and let the thoughts come. If you find this difficult, it is better to spend the practice period alternating between slow repetitions of the idea with eyes open, then with eyes closed, than it is to strain to find suitable thoughts. There is no limit on the number of short practice periods that would be beneficial today. The idea for the day is a beginning step in bringing thoughts together and teaching you that you are studying a unified thought system in which nothing is lacking that is needed and nothing is included that is contradictory or irrelevant. The more often you repeat the idea during the day, the more often you will be reminding yourself that the goal of the course is important to you and that you have not forgotten it. That's lesson 42. God is my strength. Vision is his gift. If you would like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, just go to amytorresasin.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.